Hey, it's Lori. I've been wanting to go to Dollar Tree for a while now. I have a list and today's the day. I'm going to Dollar Tree and I'm going to take you shopping with me. So thanks in advance for going shopping with me. Just finished my job. I was just sitting here. I pulled over in this parking lot, checking my list. I actually wrote it down on my notebook so that I could record instead of having my list on my phone. But <laughs> my list is on my phone. I have solar lights on my list. I wanted some more last year, but I couldn't find them. They sold out quick. And I want the kind that have like the long um, tube thing that looks, it just, it's color changing. They change colors. I got a few last year and John and I were sitting there looking at them thinking, man, those are really nice. And we said, we should get some more for like in the hanging baskets and stuff like that. And at night, it, it would just be really pretty. I'm going to see if they have them. And if they do, I'm going to buy a few. Peeps lip balm. I'm going to see if they have some of that. So there's some things on here I need, some things I want. I don't want the Peeps lip balm for myself, but I do think my granddaughter would like it. So I might get one or two for her, one for her to leave at my house and one for her to take with her. I think everything else is fairly self-explanatory. Sippy cups, my sippy cups that I have are so old that when the grandkids use them, they leak. So I'm just gonna throw them all away and just get new ones. And the ones at Dollar Tree actually have really good reviews. So yeah, I'm gonna try getting them there and see what happens. All right, let's go shopping. Right inside the door, they have the solar lights, but all I see are these traditional ones, and I have plenty of those, so I'm going to go ahead and pass on those. I'm just noticing how nice and organized everything is in here. They have really improved. When I was in here before, it seems like things were kind of messy, so I'm just saying, everything just looks nice and, and organized. And over here, these glass little decanter bottles... I have one of these and I keep mouthwash in it and I really like it. I'm considering grabbing it so I have an extra just in case mine like ever breaks or something but I'm gonna try to be good. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> okay here's the duct tape and this is on my list so I'm gonna grab a roll of just the regular duct tape but they have this black duct tape and it's heavy duty. I'm gonna grab a couple rolls of these and I'm telling you, this stuff is super heavy duty. It's really good duct tape. So I'll grab a couple rolls of these. And they also have some different colors, kind of unorganized in this aisle. But, you know, people make messes and they don't, they don't put it away. So got to give them time. <laughs> okay, moving on to the dish soap. I'm looking for a traditional, just the original Dawn. And I'm just seeing the two different kinds there. And we have this... Uh, dishes dish soap peppermint sage i already smelled it and it really does smell like peppermint so that's kind of nice but yeah i'm looking for the original dawn i like the little bottles because they fit in my cleaning basket really well okay moving on to the crafters square section and i'm looking for those magnets that are on my list but i am just not seeing them they have these chalkboard ornaments they're calling them I'm not sure exactly if they're gift tags or, I mean, it says they're ornaments. These are the watering cans. I think they're kind of cute. And they also have a bird. And I was trying to figure out, what is this? <laughs> I finally figured it out. It's a ladybug. So they have ladybugs too and butterflies. I'm really not seeing the magnets anywhere. They have lots of other things, but I'm not seeing the magnets. Might have to go to the other Dollar Tree. Over here they have some decor. If you're into gnomes, these are really cute. And their fairy garden stuff is just now starting to get put out. I'm noticing this, and my granddaughter would absolutely love this. So I am going to grab this for her. And they have some Easter going up. A little bit of Valentine's over there in the corner still. I think those rabbits, those wooden bunnies, those are so cute. But yeah, it looks like they're just starting to get their Easter stuff put out. There's a little bit more down here on this shelf. And I noticed this sign right here. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was cute. Kissing booth, 50 cents a smooch. They still do still have plenty of their hearts left, their candy-filled hearts. And I'm spotting the Peeps lip balm that I was looking for. They have three different flavors. It looks like they have vanilla, they have grape, and they have strawberry. So I'm going to get a couple for my granddaughter. I think I'm going to grab her a strawberry and a grape. I have a little gift bag started for her. I don't remember if I already said that, but I'm going to throw this in her little gift bag that I have. 
And right next to that, they have their storage baskets. If you have any organizing to do, I actually have several baskets out of this spring line and they're pretty sturdy. And they, look at the colors though. They have such pretty colors and I really, really like that they have straight sides on the baskets. So yeah, these are very nice, good quality baskets. Over here we have some monster trucks. And you know, I have two little grandsons. So, and I just couldn't pass up the monster fire truck. I'm going to grab that one and the one with the dinosaur on it. So that way I can be the cool nanny, right? And we have more Easter over here in this aisle. And I'm kind of eyeballing the garland right here. The Easter egg garland. I think that would look really cute on my seasonal shelf. So I'm considering it. I think I'm going to get it. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy things that I don't need. But this is really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and allow myself to buy something. Something that I just want. So kind of something on a whim, right? So we're going to go ahead and throw those in the cart. And over here they have some carrot garland. I think that's kind of cute too. I'm not going to get it, but I think it is cute. And they have these fabric carrots. Those would look kind of cute in a basket or something, wouldn't they? I think so. And they have these pillow covers, pillowcase, they're calling them. They have the pink and they have the blue. And I'm going to grab some of this VO5. VO5 shampoo and conditioner because the guys keep running out of shampoo. So I'm going to put this up. That can be a backup if we're completely out. There you go. Moving on to the cleaning supplies. I love these dusters and I use them for work. I'm going to stock up. I'm going to get five or six of these. And I mean, they've got plenty here. So I'm going to go ahead and stock up on them. And that ought to keep me in business for a little while longer. And I'm looking for the sponges that I like. I don't see them, but they do have a lot of different kinds of sponges here. So they come in either a two pack or a three pack, usually a two pack. But once in a while, you'll get that bonus pack, you know, but anyway, they have a lot of sponges to choose from. They just don't have the kind that I prefer. So I may need really need to go to the other Dollar Tree. We'll see. And over here in the baby stuff, I'm looking for those sippy cups. But this caught my eye just because I thought it was kind of cute. <laughs> baby shark, baby shampoo, and baby wash. Okay, let's get let's get into what we're supposed to be looking for here. Sippy cups. These are the ones that have the good reviews. And I'm going to grab a couple of these for sure. And, oh, and these Elmo cups. These had pretty good reviews too. But I'm looking more for the other ones. Just, I don't know just because they have red, pink, and blue in the Elmo cups. I am going to grab this light green color in this cup, and I'm going to get the blue, and I'm going to grab this green right here. And look at these little juice cups. I didn't see any of these on the website, so I don't know anything about reviews on them, but they're a little bit smaller. And I'm also seeing they have a dark blue in this cup too, so I'm going to grab that one too. And we have some bath bombs. Again, this is going to go in my granddaughter's little gift bag that I have started for her. And they are a Crayola brand. And they have purple. Oh, here's a pink one back here. So I'm definitely going to get her a pink one. It's cotton candy scented. And the purple one, which is grape scented. So I'm going to throw both of those in the cart for her. And next we have some Epsom salt. Lavender scented. I'm going to grab some of that too while I'm at it in this aisle. And we also have some lavender scented bath or body wash, I mean. So I'm going to grab that too. Over here they have bubble bath. This is pretty good bubble bath. They have French lavender and they have this cherry blossom. I'm going to grab one of each of those. And the cherry blossom smells amazing. It is my favorite. And over here I'm taking a glance down the candy aisle and I this caught my eye right here the peach rings with tahine chili and lime peach rings it doesn't sound good to me but I think Hayden will like it all right we have some seasonings over here Kingsford brand garlic and herb all-purpose seasoning okay body of complete that is something I've been wanting to try so I think I'm going to grab that one what's this down here we've got tomato basil I'm just going to grab the body of complete one 
I thought I'd better hurry up and get out of there before I threw anything else in my cart that wasn't on my list. I ended up getting only four things off my list. So I still have one, two, three, four, five. I still have five things on my list. I'm going to go over to the other Dollar Tree and see what they have to offer, I think. So I got in there with my mic on and realized uh, I never charged my mic from the last time I tried to use it and it was dead. So... My mic is dead. I just got to the other Dollar Tree. This place is packed. Their, their parking lot is full. And this is the bigger Dollar Tree. And it was closed for at least a couple of years because they had a fire. And it's opened back up. And I haven't been back in here yet, I don't think. I don't think I have. So I think this is my first time coming back in here. But this lady that just walked in was at the other Dollar Tree. Oh, she sure was. <laughs> She's following me. Okay, I'm gonna go in and we'll see what they've got in here. This right here caught my eye. I don't know, something about it, I just like it. And then this uh, carrot, welcome to our patch. I actually am considering picking this up, but I changed my mind. I decided, you know, let's just be good. But they have the garlands too. Those are the egg garlands that I got at the other Dollar Tree. And right here behind me are the solar lights, but they just have their traditional ones here too. So I think I'll just pass on those and look at all this St. Patrick's Day stuff. They have a ton of St. Patrick's Day stuff. I don't know if I've seen this much at Dollar Tree before. It's a lot. And over here, right across from it, these little bottle brush trees with eggs on them. Those are cute. And they have carrots. This one's on like a little stake. You can put it down in a plant have this yellow color and they have orange as well. Get a better look at that orange and yellow ones. And look at these. These are a different style of the carrots. The looks like a bottle brush tree. It's on a little stand. Those are cute. Over here's some trees. I really like these. I'm not sure if I like the egg decoration things on them, but I'm wondering, can you just like pull them off? <laughs> I don't know. Bunny butts. These make a cute thing for uh, decor for a wreath, too. A little embellishment for a wreath. Here's some more bottle brush carrots. Yeah, they got a lot of cute stuff for Easter. A lot of cute DIY stuff. I like the beads. And stuff that I probably don't need because I have so much in my stash already. But a lot of cute things. And look down here. Here's the little bottle brush trays without the eggs on them. That's just exactly what I was looking for. I mean, I wasn't actually, but you know, it's what I wanted. So I'm going to get these. I'm going to get these colors for my seasonal shelf. And I, uh, purple, blue, and pink. One of each color on each end of my shelf. Just like that. They have peeps. All kinds of different kinds of peeps, including gummy peeps. I don't think I'm going to get any gummy peeps. But I am going to kind of maybe think about getting these chocolate-covered peeps. Yep. I am. I'm going to grab three. And yes, one of them is for me. Next, look at these seeds. They, If you need any vegetable seeds or flower seeds, check Dollar Tree. They have a whole bunch of them and they are four for a dollar. And they also have lots of other gardening things like gloves and um, the little peat pots down there. And they have um, soil, some potting soil if you need that. They have these plastic watering stakes. I've never seen these at Dollar Tree before, but they have the different colors. Yeah, that's kind of nice. And over here we have the macrame hangers. I mean, those aren't really like macrame knots, but we'll call them a macrame hanger. It's kind of string as opposed to cord. They're kind of soft, but they are nice. And for $1.25, they would be a cute plant hanger. And over here we have some uh, fairy garden stuff. And they have a lot more out than the other Dollar Tree did. And I, I feel like they're getting larger. Aren't these a little bit larger? Or is it my imagination? I don't know. I think they're bigger. And we are going to go to the Dollar Tree Plus section. This is a Dollar Tree Plus store. We're not going to look at it just yet. But they do have some $3 and $5 items here. So before we leave, we will come back to the Dollar Tree Plus aisle and take a look at that. For now, we're going to keep looking at the $1.25 stuff. Party supplies. They have party supplies here. This is seriously the place to buy party supplies. Look at these great big party hats. That is so cool. <laughs> these things are huge. 
I mean, right over here, look, this is the regular sized ones. Compared to that, they're huge. <laughs> they have all kinds of different candles. They have a lot better candle selection than they do at, like, say, Walmart. And they have, yeah, all kinds of decor, plates, napkins, all this stuff. A lot of it, it has matching items to go with it. And they have, like, table covers. In fact, I'm looking at this one right here because I think Hayden would really like that. I'm not going to get it today. But I'll keep it in mind for when his birthday comes around. They have decor to match. And plates and napkins. I'm not seeing any plates. But here's some napkins. I'm going to grab these napkins. I like to put a napkin in with his lunch. So if I have a fun napkin, that's what I put in with it. And he's been packing his own lunch lately. But... I'll just put this with his lunch stuff. Okay, plates. So I was looking for some football plates, but I didn't see any. They must be sold out. And I'm looking for them for Hayden's lunches because he likes to take a small plate when he takes a pizza or something that he needs to warm up in the microwave. But these are actually plastic plates. That's not exactly what I was looking for. Just looking for some paper plates. He likes um, University of Michigan um football but can't find the colors for that so we'll do black plates orange napkins because those are our school colors also Cincinnati Bengals colors and he likes that so that'll do him for a while and like I said the party supplies well that goes along with the gift bags if you need anything like that I'm telling you they have got gift bags galore at Dollar Tree and they have the paper shreds if you like that or if you're like me and you prefer tissue paper they got you covered. They've got plenty of that too. Over here in the office supplies, I'm kind of looking at these calculators because I got John one at Walmart not too long ago and it broke. So he is in need of a new calculator. And I think I'm going to go ahead and grab him one of these black ones. But of course, I'm not going to take the one in the front because, you know, I don't know. I guess people have been trying it out. <laughs> but I'm going to try this one out just to make sure. Just to make sure it works. So 5 plus 5 equals 10. It does work. <laughs> All right, he's going to get that calculator. And over here, they've got some post -it brand post-it notes, sticky notes. And they've got all sorts of list pads. This was magnetic. A couple different designs there. And they've got the to-do list. I kind of like that. It's also magnetic. Yeah, they've got a lot of different... Right there's another um, design. And then over here, this one has days of the week on it. And it's also magnetic. Yeah, look at all these choices. Here's some sticky notes. And up there, they've got like a variety pack kind of, of sticky, um, sticky notes and different notepads for all your note-taking needs. Yeah, here's one of the variety packs with different sizes and designs. If you're into sticky notes, and I know I am, and they even have stuff for like businesses. So this is like a timesheet, a whole pad of timesheets, I guess is what it would be. And this is like a sales order pad. Huh, okay. Yeah, and we have boxes for your index cards because everybody knows I like my index cards, right? <laughs> and these are kind of different, I thought. They're felt, they're kind of just different. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, and then they have this size too. Okay. And then under that, they have these pencil holders, pencil cups with little styrofoam ball type things in them. I don't think I would like that. It looks messy. <laughs> That's just me though, right? I do like these push pins though. I really like those. They're pearls. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, they have a nice variety of different push pins for your bulletin boards. And let's look for those magnets. Hopefully they have the magnets here. And I'm not seeing them yet. And now I see them. There they are. <laughs> so yeah, and they are magnets. So they're going to stick together on me. But that's okay because they are really good magnets. They're pretty strong. This one is a 14 in the pack. There's another one that has 12. And they're just a little bit larger. I'm looking to see if they have them, and I do see them, but I have to get them apart because, like I said, they're pretty good magnets, so they're really sticking together. So here's the one with 12, and let me see if I can't set them up for you to see if you can see the size difference. 
So there's not a huge size difference, but a little bit. They're a little bit different. So I like to have both sizes. So I'm going to grab actually a couple packages of each and throw those in with my craft stash. My granddaughter absolutely loves to make magnets and give them to people as a gift. So I'm going to pick this up off the floor since I dropped it. Hang that back up. And they have this wooden stuff over here. I think these are really cute. I've never seen these before. They have this. You could put like greenery in that front like little box with the butterfly. They have a heart and they have a star. And these would be so cool for you could have kids paint these and give them as gifts for people. Yeah, I think those are really nice. These. Now, let's talk about these. These little pieces of wood. These are $1.25 a piece for these little pieces of, it, it, it looks like scrap wood to me. So I don't know. I mean, okay, distraction real quick. I saw these little wooden lanterns with the flameless candle in it. I thought it was kind of cute. It caught my eye. <laughs> okay, back to the scrap wood. I feel like this is something you can find in a scrap pile somewhere alongside of the road or something. I don't know. I guess it's all right if, you know, if you're in need of something like that. But and now these are nice wooden cubes. Another thing that would make a nice little thing for a DIY project. Over here, they have socks, though, in the next aisle. Look at these. This is so cool. They have like all these different Oreo and Reese's. They have Kraft mac and cheese socks, <laughs> Twizzlers, SpongeBob, Heinz ketchup. I mean... <laughs> All these different novelty socks. I just think they're cute and they would make a nice little novelty gift. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I love it. Oscar Mayer Hot Dogs. Cheese It Sour Patch. Over here they have even more novelty socks. So yeah, they have Frankenstein over here. A couple different designs of that. Ramen Noodles. It actually says Cup Noodles, but I mean, it's basically ramen noodles. So yeah, <laughs> I just think it's cute. These hooks, these are $1.25. We're not in the dollar, uh, dollar Tree Plus aisle yet, but these are nice sturdy hooks for $1.25. They come with the screws and anchors that you need for hanging them. Antique brass, white, and teal. So they have three different colors here. Yeah, those are really nice sturdy hooks. I think they're pretty. And over here in this aisle, they have the clips that I was looking for. This is actually on my list. Can you believe it? These clips to take off the gel polish and I saw Nona Grace got some of these and I thought those are what I want. You get 10 in a pack. They have black and I'm going to grab the pink but they clip on. The ones I have just kind of slip over your fingernails and they don't they don't necessarily stay on the greatest. Now I'm looking at these little things. These little um, makeup sponges. They're like little minis. Little mini ones for like I'm thinking around my eyes to do like concealer maybe, or I don't know. I think I might try these out. Yeah. Okay. You talked me right into it. I'm going to try these out. <laughs> and I just spotted the fingernail caps right over here. These are the ones that I have. They're okay. I'm not going to say don't get these. They're okay, but they're kind of all the same size. There's a couple of them that have an L on them for large for like your thumbs, I guess. But honestly, they're all pretty doggone close to the same size. So I think the clip ones will just stay on better. And these, I'm noticing the foil, little foil wraps for your nails. I usually cut foil myself. I'm going to try these and see how that works out. Give it a shot. On to the next aisle. These fudge mint cookies are just like the Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies. Chase loves them, and I'm going to grab him a box of those. And we have this popcorn. John's favorite popcorn. Really, really good, so I'm going to grab that for him. And Taki Sir Hayden. I've never seen this kind before. The Dragon Sweet Chili. I'm going to grab that for him. And I'm going to grab a pack of these Hot Nuts. Taki's Hot Nuts. Okay, grab those for Hayden. And this, just a random something. <laughs> Think outside of the box at Dollar Tree sometimes. I have this sitting by my kitchen sink. I use it as a soap dish. And we have all sorts of different bins and baskets and containers. <laughs> Everything you could need for organization here. Seriously. They have the shoebox containers. They have pitchers if you have, you know, whatever 
juice or drinks or whatever. And they have all sorts of storage, food storage containers down this entire aisle. And look at these. These have like tulips on them and little flowers. This would be really cute for like if you wanted to make somebody something like a food item as a gift. And then they could just keep the bowl. I think it's pretty. Lid seems to fit nice. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. And this Dollar Tree has a nice sized refrigerated and frozen section. So at the end, they have some items that are, uh, some are $5, some are $4, and some are $3. So yeah, but they have some pretty decent selections in their refrigerated and frozen section, if that's something you're interested in. And over here we have the cleaning supplies and they do have my sponges. They have lots of things to choose from here too. But these are the ones I like, the Brillo Estrasil, I guess it's called. And this comes in a two pack, but every once in a while they'll have bonus packs with a three in a pack instead of two. So I like to check just to be sure. I think they just have the two packs right now. So I am gonna grab a few of those. I use these for work and at home both. And I'm on the last one, so I'm going to stock up on those a little bit while I'm here. Throw a few more in. And this cleaner over here. I just want to talk about this cleaner for a minute. LA is totally awesome. All-purpose cleaner, degreaser, and spot remover. This is the cherry blossom, and it smells amazing. This one, they have a wood cleaner. They also have this, the all-purpose cleaner degreaser in lavender. It's actually a lavender burst to be exact. And over here they have the kitchen cleaner in the fresh scent. And they, they have all sorts of different colors. So, you know, if you're into that. And they have the fresh scent daily shower cleaner. And then down here, they also have this bathroom cleaner in the fresh scent. So like all these different types of cleaners that you can get, or you can just use just this one because that's what I do. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, maybe you'd like to have something different for everything, but I use that one cleaner for everything. And it's no wonder the other Dollar Tree didn't have any Blue Dawn. Look at this. It's all right here. And I think I'll take some of that. Yes, please. Original Dawn. And this right here just, so let's talk about this for just a second. This is like supposed to be maybe a knockoff for the Dawn Power Wash. Okay, I take a little bit of this, stick it in the bottom of a spray bottle, add some water, and there you go. And if you want, you can even use this bottle once it's empty to make your dish soap and water spray. <laughs> there you go. And over here we have some dog toys. I haven't gotten Winston a toy in a while. It's crinkly. And it squeaks too. That's his favorite. So I'm getting him this one and it was like way back here in the back. So I tore it to get it off of the thing. And I kind of tore the UPC code a little bit. So hopefully it still rings up. The cat toys. They don't, they don't have a whole lot of cat toys to choose from. They have lots of cat stuff. But the toys, they have these big ones. My cats don't really mess with the big ones. They don't mess with them at all. But Winston will chew them up, that's for sure. I always thought about getting them one of these. But I know they'll make a huge mess, so I'm kind of not into that right now. <laughs> Let's walk on over to the Dollar Tree Plus aisle and see what they have there. And on my way, I'm kind of going to glance over here at the aisles up by the registers. Every once in a while... You can find a hidden gem up here by the register, so I always like to take a quick glance up here. Let's start out the Dollar Tree Plus section by taking a closer look at these lanterns. These are really nice. These are $5, and they are solar. They're solar lanterns, and they're, I want to say full-sized, but I mean, they're not miniature. They're decent-sized, and they feel nice and sturdy. I would definitely pay $5 for these. You you might even see these in another store for maybe more like $10 or $15 even. They have white. They have this design right here. And they also have a solid black in that same design that we looked at the first time. They have these. And these are like a tin. And I just really like these. I think that would be so pretty at night. And if they were by a patio, it would leave like a pattern on your patio. And over here they have this one with like, it looks like a cage type thing with an Edison bulb. And that is also solar. 
for $5. Yeah, those are really nice. And over here, so this is at the end of the aisle and it's not $5 or anything. It's, this is just $1.25. These hook on your headrest and for the back of your seat, little hooks. I think those are cool and I could actually really use something like this for my work stuff. And yeah, they have rainbows, they have stars, they have orange slices. <laughs> And I think I like the stars the best. I don't see any other designs. I'm going to grab a couple packages of these of the stars and I'll hook them onto my back seat in the way back. It'll be handy. And over here we have some $5 and $3 kind of craft supply stuff. A little bit higher end, I guess. Heavier duty, maybe. These are cute tumblers. I think these are really pretty. I like them. They feel nice too. They feel kind of, you know, sturdier than maybe a plastic dollar one would feel. And we have these paper towels, $3 for two double rolls. And just some full-sized items over here in this aisle, as opposed to the smaller sizes that you would see in the $1.25 section. But all these, the laundry detergent and everything for, I think all this is $5 it looks like. Yeah, and over here we have some baskets. If you're doing any um, organizing, maybe these might come in really handy. And I do believe they are stackable. Yeah, stackable container for $5. And it's pretty good sized, feels sturdy. And up here we have the Mrs. Myers cleaners. If you like the Mrs. Myers brand, they do have it at Dollar Tree. And over here we have like the two packs of the toilet bowl cleaner and more full size cleaning products. Some paper products down here, plastic cups. These paper plates are, it says ultra, there's 50 in here. These are big. This is the big size. I don't really buy them too much because they're so expensive anyway, right? And over here we have toys. We have some planters. These are larger than the ones that you would get for the dollar 25 and these are five dollars and down here we have these like uh, it looks like a stool or a little side table plant stand it comes they have them in white they have them in gray and they have them in teal i know they have black ones i saw them down at the end of the aisle and some more planters this one's really pretty i like that and they also have these solar pathway lights i like these and they are on like a stake. It looks like it can be a kind of a long stake. It looks like you can extend it or something. I don't know. And I love these flowers, a flower stake, and it is solar. So they light up. I may get some of those at some point. These though, <laughs> those have creepy eyeballs, don't they? <laughs> I think so. And over here we have the signs and they're $5 a piece. Home sweet home and blessed. Those would look nice inside, I think. The welcome things in this flower right here. These are good sized. I like this stuff. And let's see how big is it? It is a 48 inch leaner for $5. It is a little flimsy though. I'm kind of going to show you. It's a little bit flimsy. So it may last like one season, but for $5, you know, that's not too bad. Or you can even just keep it inside. If you have a covered porch, you maybe let, you know, it probably lasts longer. And they just have some more decor items down this aisle. They have rugs. These are nice rugs. They're good size too for $5. A couple different designs. And they have more socks over here. The Nickelodeon. They have Hasbro games. That I don't even know what that is. But so these are six pairs that you get in here for $5. Where the other ones you get four of them for $5. So I don't know. Just something to consider if you wanted to get some novelty socks for somebody. And they have these. This is only $3 for ladies low cut socks. There's 10 pair in this pack. And I'm going to see if they feel like they're kind of, you know, cheapos. And they actually feel good quality. They feel like really good quality socks. 10 pairs for three bucks. That's not bad. And they also have these colors with the gray, the white, and the black. Little variety pack there. And they just have like some Bluetooth speakers and some more socks <laughs> and some other, you know, little electronic-y kind of stuff. And over here we have a little bit of Valentine's left. 
kind of a lot really, and stuffed animals and some things for Easter. And over here is the black stool or stand that I was telling you about. Not too bad. All right, now we're outside. Now we're done. <laughs> we're getting out of there. We're putting these hooks on the back of my headrest in the very back of my car where I keep my cleaning supplies. I usually put things on that strap thingy, just tie it on there. Well, look at this. This is going to work out really well, a lot better than tying it onto that, <laughs> that strap. But yeah, I keep my cloths in here and I know it's dirty because it's used, but it's wet and I can hang it up to dry. I think these are going to work out really well for me. So I've got those two on thumbs up for those. And I'm going to go ahead and put the other two over here on this side. They just slip right on. I mean, you know, it's not like you have to install anything. It just slips right on. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> 